We're going to take a closer look at the workflow between Avid Media Composer and Nucoda Film Master. We have a comprehensive file-based workflow allowing for the maximum time spent editing, grading and finishing. Starting off we have a sequence in our Media Composer and you'll notice we have various effects in the sequence picture in picture, dissolves, speed effects, stills as well as a video mix down. I'm going to export this composition as an AF before moving back to Nikoda Film Master. Once inside Film Master I'm going to import the AAF that I had exported. In the dialog box I'm going to select the option to import media from MXF parts and ask it to automatically conform to the material. Selecting the expand nested tracks and read times function will allow us to view read times in our enhanced view designed to allow for round tripping between Avid and Filmaster. By choosing Apply AAF Effects, I would automatically use any rendered Avid effects in the grade. After importing, you will notice that the timeline looks very much like the timeline in Media Composer, and you'll also see that I can play back the native MXF media in real time. At this point, we have the clips on multiple tracks. Looking at the speed changes, we use adjustment segments to maintain the actual length of the clip in the timeline, but display the full length of the master clip for grading. I have prepared an overall generic grade to apply to all the clips to speed things up a bit. I select all the clips and apply the selected note. Since I am going back to the Avid, I am going to select to export the AAF. At this point, we also have the option to export to Interplay if we wish. This option will allow for the export of the AAF and automatic check-in of the media into Interplay. I can choose the format I would like to export and I'm going to export it as DNX HD 185 and select the location for the AAF. The files will now be exported as MXF files. Back in the Media Composer, I'm going to create a new bin and load the AAF created in Film Master. After importing, I can see the DV grade sequence in the bin, and when I reload the sequence, the graded media appears in place of the ungraded media and all the other effects are in place.